Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get all the updates. This is it for today's video. I finally hit my area. Lagunitas Willa Ties, the 2022 vintage. It's coming in at 13.1% ABV. It's a coffee style aged in rye oak barrels. Uh, let's see what the periphery says. Uh, from our friend, the Kentucky distiller, J.D. Willett himself. Quote, we have one type of barrel, wood. Uh, and we put two things in them. And once they're sufficiently spent, we score some of the, oh, the, the end quote. Uh, we score some of these scrutable casts from JD and put one thing in them, beer. The taste tells, that's the whole sentence. The taste tells, okay. Uh, it's good to have friends. Let us know what you think. And a phone number. I've, has anyone ever called the Lagunitas phone number? I'd probably ask them, where it sucks? Uh, hops, let's see. Net contents, 12 fluid ounces of malt, hops, yeast, and water. Uh, I feel like there's a little bit more going on in this beer. Lagunitas. Proper glassware, the least pretentious glass in beer. Hi, Bruno. Are you such a good boy? Want to come here on camera? Yeah, there's a little doggy on the glass, too. Want to come here? People think I'm crazy. Like I'm not talking to anyone. All right, leave some for an Instagram shot. I'm really excited for this beer, if you can't tell. So yeah, I mean, it's a really dark brown into a, a lighter black kind of a color. Uh, about a finger and a quarter of mocha, maybe slightly light, light mocha, tiny bubbles, a little bit sudsy on top. I mean, it looks like a nice big stout for sure. Good head retention. I really like, you know, lay down, bud. Good head retention. You know, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, I love it. I love this glass too. Anyway, let's get to the aroma. Oh, you get coffee. Coffee, some nice um, oak, vanilla, like those two things very much interwoven together. Um, I mean, not that it makes too big of a difference because I'm pour the rest of it when I'm down there review anyway. Um, probably going to have a snow day tomorrow. If you don't know this about me, I'm a teacher and Kind of going all in tonight, I think there's a snow day tomorrow. Man, that, that, that vanilla, it's still tied to the open. I'm kind of getting a little bit more specific vanilla, kind of like a coffee creamer vibe with the coffee and the vanilla. But I'm, I'm glad some oak comes through from the barrels as well. Obviously, I mean, when I say coffee, things are obvious, kind of like, you know, roast, dark chocolate, but maybe I should explicitly state that. A little caramel swirl. So like... There's sweetness to it. There is some dry roasty elements as well. So it's not, it doesn't uh, smell exactly like, what's it, like a Frappuccino or Frappe or whatever those are that are like, you know, sugary coffee drinks with, you know, caramel squirts or whatever. But it has elements of those things. And those things do pair well together. It's so like the short version is it smells really good while there's stuff going on. I really like that aroma. And I'm not, this is not going to be a comparison video at all. But I know a decent number of people with the 2020 Bourbon County coffee were like, not enough coffee for me. Based on the aroma, at least, there's definitely like, a, it, it, if you open this beer and you know what coffee smells like, you don't smell coffee, I think that's on you. I'll put it that way. Let's get into the glass. Cheers. I like this. Oh, yeah, I do. So there was, a when I went to the store to buy it, there was a single bottle, there were two cases. On top of those two cases, there was a single bottle and a four pack. I grabbed a single bottle. And I'm like, you know what, for the price point, you know, I'm sure I'll like it. It's like 16 bucks a four pack, which is a great price. So I'm like, you know, just grab the four pack. After tasting this, I'm really glad I grabbed the four pack. It's like a lot of stuff I was saying, the aroma. There's sweetness to it. But it's got plenty of roast to balance it out. It is not a super sweet beer, but as someone who likes sweet things, it's got enough sweetness for me. Coffee comes through for sure. Uh, it's adding extra elements of roast. I, I, assume, I mean, maybe I shouldn't assume this, but I would think the base beer probably has some roastiness too. If not, and that's all coffee, well done to the coffee. A little bit of that vanilla from the barrels, a little bit of the bourbon coming through, the sweetness of the bourbon. Uh, I, I don't get the rye spiciness. I didn't get much bourbon in the aroma. I didn't even talk about it. Um, but it tastes, I do get enough of it and it's not full on like 
Bailey's and coffee or something. But like, yeah, you put a little bit of a, of a whiskey, of a bourbon in your coffee with a little bit of vanilla. It was kind of like that. Um, the dark chocolate, it's not overly dark chocolate because there's some sweetness too. And again, that vanilla kind of makes it a little bit more milk chocolatey. So it's like, I don't know, somewhere between like barely milk chocolate into soft dark chocolate, whatever that means. Like Hershey's special dark kind of, I guess is what I'm going to land on. Enough caramel that keeps me interested. And then you get hit with that coffee again. I like this. No, no. No, I don't like this beer. I love this beer. I, I, I'm really, and I try, you know, price is a factor as much as you try for it not to be or you allow it to be a factor. Taking the price out of the equation that it was so cheap, this beer is delicious. Factoring in the price, how, how on earth are they charging this for this amount of deliciousness with the barrel aging and the coffee added? Yeah, this is fantastic. Uh, have you had this year's vintage? What did you think? Enough coffee, am I right? Um, anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.